Jellyfish, masters of the marine world, a deep dive into their lives and roles in the ocean. Since the beginning of time, jellyfish, which are water animals that are pulsating and ethereal, have been a subject of fascination and investigation for humans. Jellyfish are among the most fascinating and mysterious organisms of the ocean due to their simple, gelatinous bodies and their calm temperament, which can sometimes threaten their lives. This in-depth investigation digs into the biology, ecology, life cycle, and human connections of jellyfish, shedding light on their importance in marine ecosystems as well as the challenges they face in a world that is always changing. Jellyfish are classified as members of the phylum Nidaria, which is comprised of a group of marine invertebrates that also includes corals, sea anemones, and hydroplants. The gelatinous bodies of these organisms are what set them apart from other species. The diameter of these bodies can range anywhere from a few millimeters to over two meters, depending on the species involved. It is the water that makes up the majority of jellyfish, which accounts for up to 98% of their total mass. This is one of the factors that contributes to their transparent or translucent appearance. It may appear that the anatomy of a jellyfish is quite straightforward. It is made up of a bell in the shape of an umbrella that pulsates in order to propel itself forward and it has tentacles that trail from the edges. Nematocysts are microscopic structures that resemble harpoons and are capable of injecting venom into prey or predators. These tentacles are equipped with specialized cells known as nidocytes, which contain nematocysts. Because it helps them defend themselves and feed themselves, this process is essential to their existence. Every ocean on the planet is home to jellyfish, from the icy depths of the Arctic and Antarctic to the balmy seas of tropical regions. Jellyfish are a natural occurrence that can be found everywhere. There are numerous classes that they belong to, such as the Scythozoa, which are true jellyfish, the Hydrozoa, which includes the Portuguese man o war, which is a colony of specialized polyps rather than a true jellyfish, the Cubozoa, which are box jellyfish and are noted for their powerful venom, and the Storozoa, which are stalk jellyfish. Jellyfish populations are vulnerable to major variations due to environmental conditions, which can result in periodic blooms that can have enormous repercussions on both the environment and the economy. This is despite the fact that jellyfish are found in nearly every available location. It is a fascinating and complicated process that involves numerous phases of development that jellyfish go through during their life cycle. In the beginning of their lives, the majority of species are free-swimming larvae known as planulae. These planulae eventually settle on the seafloor and evolve into polyps. These polyps are capable of reproducing asexually, budding off new polyps, and eventually releasing free-swimming ephyrae, which are juvenile jellyfish, through a process that is referred to as strobilation. The ephyrae develop into adult medusae, which are the bell-shaped kind of jellyfish that are most commonly seen. As a result of this lifespan, jellyfish populations are able to swiftly adjust to changes in environmental conditions, which contributes to their resilience and the frequency of jellyfish blooms. In marine ecosystems, jellyfish are an extremely important component. They are predators, and as such, they consume a wide range of species, such as plankton, fish eggs, small fish, and even other jellyfish. The capacity of these creatures to utilize a variety of food sources contributes to the regulation of the populations of these species and the preservation of the equilibrium within marine food webs. On the other hand, jellyfish are being eaten by a wide variety of animals, such as sea turtles, larger fish, and even other species of jellyfish. The presence of these organisms in marine habitats can be interpreted as both predators and prey, and they are entangled in a complex web of biological connections. Jellyfish are particularly well known for their passive mobility, which involves relying on ocean currents for long distance movement while using their bell to pulse through the water. This mode of movement, which is efficient in terms of energy consumption, enables them to travel huge distances, which in turn affects the distribution of their populations and the dynamics of their populations. Jellyfish and humans have a complex relationship that involves many different aspects. Jellyfish are gathered for their nutritional and gastronomic worth in certain societies, and they are regarded a delicacy in those different cultures. The blooming of jellyfish, on the other hand, might present considerable difficulties for human activity. They have the ability to obstruct the cooling systems of power plants, disrupt fishing operations, and sting swimmers, 
which can sometimes have fatal repercussions in the case of species such as the box jellyfish. The increase in jellyfish blooms that has occurred in recent years has been attributed to a number of different factors. These factors include overfishing, which reduces the number of natural predators and competitors, pollution, which provides environments that are rich in nutrients and are conducive to jellyfish reproduction, and climate change, which affects the temperature of the ocean and the currents that flow through it. Understanding marine biodiversity, the state of marine ecosystems, and the effects that human activity has on the oceans is made possible by the study of jellyfish, which is of critical importance. In order to mitigate the variables that contribute to excessive jellyfish blooms, conservation activities are centered on mitigating those factors. These considerations include minimizing pollution, managing fisheries in a more sustainable manner, and also safeguarding natural habitats. These mysterious organisms serve as a reminder of the beauty and complexity of marine life, as well as the significance of protecting the health of our seas for future generations. As researchers continue to solve the mysteries of jellyfish biology and ecology, these species serve as a reminder of the necessity of preserving the health of our oceans. Jellyfish, in conclusion, are not merely simple animals that drift around. Rather, they are an essential component of the marine ecosystem, with intricate life cycles and ecological roles. The findings of their research not only shed light on the functioning of marine ecosystems, but they also bring to light the interconnectivity of all forms of life and the influence that human actions have on the environment. The life cycle, as well as the cultural significance of jellyfish, provides insights into the intricate world of jellyfish and the role that they play in natural marine habitats. Join us in marveling at the remarkable world of jellyfish, these ethereal creatures that float through our ocean's currents, as we delve into the mysteries they hold, let's appreciate the critical role they play in marine ecosystems and their impact on human culture and industry. Together, let's embark on a journey to deepen our understanding and respect for jellyfish, advocating for the protection of their habitats and the health of our oceans. We invite you to subscribe, like, and share this video to spread the wonder and significance of jellyfish far and wide. Engage in initiatives that promote ocean conservation and support research efforts to explore the fascinating biology and ecology of jellyfish. By taking action today, we can contribute to a sustainable coexistence with these mesmerizing marine creatures, ensuring they continue to thrive and enchant future generations. Together, we have the power to make a lasting difference for jellyfish and the vast, blue world they inhabit. Let's unite in this cause and forge a path toward a future where the mysteries of the ocean are cherished and preserved for all to discover and enjoy.